Hi, my name is Richard Russick. I went to National Math Gowns way back in 1985. Yeah, that's right. There was math back then. Math Counts was my most important educational experience when I was in middle school. And now, when I want to get young students jacked about math, I break out the Math Counts. And now I'm making these Math Counts mini lessons. I'm going to be using real Math Counts problems from the competitions. Now, this past year, I got to see a lot of problems because I worked with a lot of students all over the country online. And I got to go back to Nationals to meet a lot of my students who were there, meet their coaches, meet their parents, and hang out with the Math Count staff. Now, this year, I got a very special gift when I went back to Nationals. I got this. This team t-shirt from one of the coaches, Rhonda Sobin from Arizona, brought her Madison Park Math Counts team t-shirt just for me to do these lessons. Thank you very much, Rhonda. And what we're going to talk about today in our first Math Counts mini lesson is a problem that her student had to answer correctly to get to nationals. And the problem is this. If you roll three fair six-sided dice, each one of them numbered one through six, and then add up the numbers that you get in those rolls, what's the probability that you get a nine? Now, I have a secret weapon. I'm going to break out that secret weapon right now. We're talking to fuzzy dice right here. We got the, got the fuzzy dice to help us with the problem. Here's how we roll. We roll the fuzzy dice. Roll the fuzzy dice. And what do we have? We have 3 plus 2 plus 4. That's a 9. So there we go. We, we know how to make a 9. But how do we do this problem? Well, we'll have to add up all the different ways you can get a 9. We have to figure out how many different rolls come up with a 9. So, well, we got one right here. So let's, let's go ahead and write that one down. Let's see, we got a, a white die, black die, green die. Uh, we got a black die. Ooh, I have a green pen for the green die. And let's see, we have, oh, we got a white die and a white board. Okay, that's no problem. White die. There we go, white die. So here we go. Two on the black die, three on the green die, and four on the white die. Of course, this isn't the only way we can get a nine. Let's see, what else can we do here? Uh, six. We can start with a six. And next die, well, I can't have a three. Six and three is nine. Then what would the white die be? I can go six, six, and two. And we go with the snake guy there. Six, two, and one. That's nine. So go ahead and write that one down. Six, two, and one. Good thing this isn't a countdown round. This is, this is going to take a long time. Uh, let's see. i got to find another one. Well, I haven't used a five yet, so let's go ahead and break out a five. Five. Uh, five, three. So I have room for, let's see, five, three, and two. Five, three, and two. And... <laughs> five, three, and two. Five plus three plus two, that's, that's ten. Let's try five, three, and one. Five, three, and one, that's nine. Oops. Five, three, and one. This doesn't look like such a good idea. I mean, if we keep going like this, how will we know we're done? And if we just keep listing them all, how do we know we have them all? And, well, we could make lots of mistakes. Five, three, and two, ten. And if we keep listing, we'll fill the whole board over and over and over, and we might start listing things twice, and that's no good either. What should we do? I know. We should get organized. We should get, now, I know that's pretty hard for some of you, and it's, it's hard for me too. I'm, I'm very organizationally challenged. You can come check out my desk. It's a complete mess. But when it comes to counting problems, organized. Now, what do we mean by getting organized in a counting problem? What we mean is that we have to count everything once and only once. Now, what do I mean by that? Count everything once and only once. Well, the once part means we have to make sure we get every single possibility. Can't leave anything out. And the only once? Well, we can't count anything twice. So if we made this list and put something on it twice, that's bad. Only once. So that's our goal, to count everything once and only once. Now, how do we get organized to do that? Well, let's, let's look at our examples here. Let's look at each of these three examples. 
and each one of these has has the largest row six five four and we could also have the largest row be a tie for three we could have a three 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 and that's it we only have four cases to consider for the largest row for the largest number that appears in a row that adds up to nine so let's see if we can organize our counting this way and you know what the goal is we're going to try to count everything once and only once. Here we go. So I gotta, first, got to clear this off, erase. Got to make sure we get the white dye. Clean this all off. 